Good morning, Nudities. It's Liz Duggar. Um, so today we talked about addressing objections and how important it is just to ask, you know, hey, what is holding you back? Why haven't we pulled the trigger on this business yet? Um, and I ask you to take a look at the document that Becky and I have put together and to let us know if um, there's anything in there that we didn't cover. So basically today what I'm going to do is just talk to you about some of the main objections and just real briefly tell you how I address them. Um, so price, <clears throat> well, I mean, I kind of laugh at this one and if someone is really giving you a hard time about the price options of the kit, then you need to think that may not be the right person for the business, okay? Because seriously, where can you go and partner with a billion dollar brand for less than a thousand dollars, have 60 days to be able to return it and get your money back and have two chances to be able to get refunded for that kit money, okay? I mean, I use examples of startup, small startup businesses all the time. Um, I mean, if you're wanting to go down here to the corner and open up a flower shop, we're going to be looking at at least 20 grand initial startup cost and inventory, renting, hiring employees, supplies, overhead, infrastructure, you name it, at least 20 grand. Same thing for opening up a hair salon um, and that's something to me. I'm just like, if that doesn't resonate with someone that you can start a business for less than a thousand dollars, partner with a billion dollar brand, have the opportunity to make unlimited income, then that person may just not get it yet, or they just not, they probably are not the right person for the business. Okay. So if somebody's giving me um, flack about that, then I, I kind of just walk away. Um, if someone's having a hard time coming up with the money, but really understands the opportunity, then I'll tell them, look around your house, you know, let's sell something, um, or, you know, let's, let's throw some things on eBay to make some fast cash, okay? And then I also tell them about how, you know, hey, this is going on a credit card. We're going to run like crazy for the first 30 days for you to be able to earn your kit money back. People that tell me that I'm not a salesman, well... Uh, you've heard my story. I wasn't a salesman either. So I just use other stories of people in my organization. The majority of you do not have a sales background. Um, and so you know that, um, that, you know, this business is not, it's, it's sales, but it's not a pushy sales. Um, and what I, tell people is basically we're just we're educated we're knowledgeable about about a product and we're sharing information and we've got an incredible product that pretty much sells itself and has clinical data to be able to back it up um, and not only that but we have a ton of before and after pictures and you know that right there a picture is worth a thousand words so you know I think the fact that Rodan and Fields' majority of women are not don't come from a sales background. Excuse me. The other thing that you need to understand too, um, and this is just more, um, you know, consumer trends is as we all become uber connected, um, the third um, party validation and that friend to friend uh, relationship and referral. Um, and recommendation of a product becomes more and more important. And you see this happening today as department stores are shutting down and businesses are shutting down. I mean, pretty much gone are the days of retail and the real hardcore salesmen. Um, I mean, you know, you go to a car lot now and, I mean, you know, you can buy a car online all day long. So, I mean, pretty much gone are those days. Like, few and far between are like the really gimmicky people out there. If you noticed, most people are going to social media and they're asking, what's the best dishwasher to buy? Where's the best daycare? Who's the best landscaper? And that's exactly what we are doing, okay? We're basically just offering information and sharing information. Um, somebody that doesn't believe in the direct sales model, I send them that Fox 43 video um, of the doctors being interviewed, um, the opening bell with Maria Bartonelli. I send them the Investopedia.com, the doctor's top 10. Um, I send them the Forbes article. I mean, hello, it's Forbes. 
Um, so, you know, if the media is talking about us and talking about where we're going as a company and, and we're driving the direct sales and changing that, then, you know, if they don't get that, then maybe it's just not the time for them um, or maybe this truly just isn't an opportunity for them. If you're talking to somebody, <clears throat> um, so for example, I was on a three-way call the other day and um, and I asked the girl, I was like, what's your biggest objection? She told me what her objection was and so I smushed it. Um, and then she came back with another objection. I smushed it and then she came back with another objection. So she kept changing her objection and finally I'm like, this is you don't get it. This is not the time for you. This is this is not the right person right now. Okay, so if you're talking to somebody, Mommy, yes. Water? Yeah, I'll be with you in just a second. Hang on, I'm doing it. I know I'm doing a video. Hang on, first day of school out. I'll be with you in just a second. Um, so if you're talking to somebody and they keep going, if you're going around and around and around in circles, it's not the right time for that person, and um, you may be trying to talk them into something, and you need to think about, if this person is going around and around and around with me now, okay, when I bring him into the business, are we going to keep going around and around and around and around and around, okay, so think about that, um, because it just might they might not be a good fit, okay? I'm not saying walk away. You never know. Um, but quit killing yourself over that. Move on to somebody else that sees the opportunity and wants it and gets it, okay? So I hope this helps you overcoming objections. Um, if Again, if there's something in that document that you need help with overcoming objections, getting people into the business, please post below. Um, and maybe I can address it in a small sentence. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about um, closing people. What happens when um, you follow up, follow up, and people don't respond? Um, and um, and and you know, and what do you do about that? So I um, hope this helps you today. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Friday. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow.